this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and today I wanted to make again another small video about something that is my number one most asked question on my videos. Uh, often lately I've been doing speed test runs, riding the ruckus. People keep asking me about the speedometer that I, that I use on my phone for what I'm doing when I'm doing my speed tests. So I kind of wanted to give a little bit of information to what it is that I use. So it is an iOS app only, meaning Android users, I apologize, I don't have anything to recommend. Although if you do have a good one to recommend, please recommend it below because people will be asking questions in the comments about that, I'm fairly sure. Um, but it is an iPhone app only and it is called Speedometer and you can find it in the App Store. Uh, let me go ahead and show you really quick. Well, first let's go ahead and open the App Store app on the iPhone. And the first thing you'll do is search for speedometer or speedo, and it should say speedometer. It's called Speedometer 55 Pro. The Pro version is $1.99, and there's also a free version that you can use. Um, when you go in here, the first thing that impressed me was the 4.8 out of 5 with thousands of recommend uh, reviews and the scale of the number of things that you could do with it. The black box feature, speedometer, fuel gauge, um, you could set speed limits for alerts and sounds, um, you could do waypoints, breadcrumbs, make it sideways, and then you look at some of these gleaming reviews, there's a bunch of gleaming reviews on here, and detailed too, as to why this one is good compared to other apps. So, you know, I went ahead and uh, made the leap and uh, got the free one, and then I ended up buying the pro version. Now, when you first open it, you'll get uh, your standard screen that you've seen before, but if you swipe the middle, driving the range is below 40 program, miles. It'll also tell you how much gas you have left. You can program how much gas costs and how many miles per gallon you get, and it'll estimate the distance. Uh, it can give you your top speed and how long you've been riding and your average speed and then it'll give you moving time and stationary time so that uh, you can uh, I don't know if you need those stats but you'll have them. The last one will give you a GPS map at the top and you can move around on that GPS map if you need to. Uh, you can choose uh, from Google Maps and Apple Maps uh, or a blank map if you're just doing waypoints like you're in the middle of nowhere um, and then you hit the hamburger button and you get more options in the center. You get more options in the center. Uh, this is an example of the black box. Uh, there's not so much detail because I haven't recorded in a while, but it'll give you your max speed. It'll give you the path that you drove. It'll show you in that part where that underneath that pink part, it'll show you, you know, speed scale, how fast you were going. You can zoom in and out on the map. Uh, to me, that's very useful especially if you don't remember where you went or you want to share where you went with somebody. Uh, you can make this work in the background. You can make it not work in the background. Uh, you have other different types of screens, but whenever you click on these other types of screens, all it does is change that top part below the speedometer. Like this is a... Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, that one shows you your G-forces, uh, how hard you're accelerating and all that stuff, if that's important for you. Um, you can also look at... Uh... Um, a big speedometer if all you want is just the speed and you can do it in landscape mode too which is the way I used to do it all the time was in landscape mode uh, but then I started recording and then it was getting in my way of being able to see the road when I was doing a super ninja tuck on the ruckus um, all the options are still the same you can still all do the same thing it just rearranges everything around uh, you also have this which is heads up mode where you can lay it in the front of your car and then on your wind under your windshield and it'll reflect on your window the right way so it looks like it's in the middle of the road or uh, kind of showing on your screen. Uh, it also has a compass uh, it uses the magnetic uh, compass in your so you see how I'm turning my phone it shows you which direction you're pointing. Uh, that can be useful too. It really can. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is the app that I use, it's very useful. Uh, for me, it was well worth $1.99, uh, and I hope it would be for other people. Well, there you have it. That's the app that I use. 
Uh, hopefully it's useful to some people, and if you do have an iPhone, I highly recommend it. Uh, I do like the black box feature the most. Um, it can uh, give you a history of where you went, how fast you were going, and what was your fastest at what point. Uh, it gives you a bunch of other metrics too. And if you're a scooter and a cop said that you were going 55 miles per hour and you were breaking the speed limit, you can always go to your black box and say, look, it doesn't say that I could, I, I never even went over 50 miles per hour for this whole, ru this whole ride. Hope that helps. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, share if you know anyone who needs a speedometer app or anything like that. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.